Welcome back, everybody, to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. Today, we'll be starting up the investigation in Case 4. Well, at least we were able to give Mr. Matt Ungard as our client, and we know that he didn't do it, which is very important. So, what should we do now? Well, the trial is tomorrow, and we only get this one chance. There's only one way to prove Mr. Ungard's innocence. We have to find the real killer. Okay, then let's start looking! I don't want to talk. I wanted to move. It's called hitting the wrong damn direction. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You can't come in without. Good morning. Hold on, it's you. What are you going to rot around here? Uh, um. I heard poor Juan was killed. Is it true? It's a bad rerun, was what this is. Another steel samurai doing the most evil of deeds? Um, you know, that's not entirely... I love you know that I was a huge fan of wands! Why, oh why, do all the stars I'm interested in drop one by one like flies? It's always been that way, ever since I was blah 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 Um, actually, I wanted to ask you about the murder and what happened. Huh, don't push me, boy! Um, Mr. Nick? I, um, I couldn't hear everything she said, because she was talking too fast. Miss Oldbag, could you please speak a little slower? Don't boss me around, you spiky-haired smarty pants! Whatever. My dear Hammer died a year ago in that dreadful murder, and only recently did I find a star that makes my heart go ba dump again. I don't know what to say. I ask you, why does every star I cheer for always end up kicking the bucket? Um... I'd watch your words! No one's going to get away with saying anything bad about my Juan! But I haven't said anything. Well, I don't believe a word that woman says anyway! Huh? What woman? That irritating backwater girl with the afro and the horrible country accent! I mean, what is that matter of speaking supposed to be, and why does she never stop? Honestly, women these days, they don't know the meaning of the word modesty. Blah de blah de blah de blah 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 Pearls, are you thirsty? Uh, a little. Okay, I'll go get you some juice or something. Thank you very much. Hey, are you paying attention, youngins, today? So I'm guessing this old bag heard everything from Lada. I want to ask you about what happened around the time of the murder. Ah, I don't know anything about that. I was here getting ready. Getting ready for what? The show, of course. Well, and the press conference afterwards. Cue mysterious music for the magical press conference. Anyway, I don't know anything about the murder. Ah, I see. But... But if you're talking about what I saw, that's different. I saw it very clearly. What? I saw the most important moment of the night! The most important moment? You don't mean... Oh, so now you treat me with respect, you disrespectful child. When you speak to your elders, you should always be polite. Really, kids today. Please tell me, what did you see? Zawarudo? The murder last night was gruesome, wasn't it? But then... What murder isn't? Please don't stray onto another tangent, please. If you want to hear more, then you show your respect and bring this lady a present! Alright, whatevs. And this is where we started the whole thing. Looks like the investigation is still in full swing. The hotel staff and the police are running around like a bunch of headless chickens. I wonder if we can do any investigating of our own in this kind of atmosphere. Well, we gotta roll up the sleeves and try, I guess. Back to the hallway. Hey, you're here! I've been waiting for you, Mr. Lawyer! Lana. Hey, Mr. Cobbfella, the thief showed his face! What? Arrest him! Put him on trial! Find him guilty! Give him the death penalty! What's wrong, Lada? Are you feeling alright? Look, here and there, up and down the mountain, but it ain't here. It's 
so why don't you just hurry up and give it back to me, you creep? Uh, what are you looking for? My camera! C-A-M-E-R-A! -E it's my lifeblood! I'm gonna die without my $700 camera! Y your camera? Look, don't lots of people say the criminal always goes back to the scene of the crime? And looky, looky, here you are! Yep, here I am, faced with a lot of trouble. Huh? So, you lost your camera? It ain't no ordinary camera! You bought it in the store and it's $1,600 brand new! Huh? But didn't you say you bought it for $700? I had a nice long talk with the guy at the store, about five hours, I reckon. I made this little itty bitty scratch on it, and the manager got all huffed in the face. He gave me his talking to him, and was real mean about it, too. You know, made me cry at that. When did you lose your camera? Last night, after the murder happened. Must have been when I was busy running around looking into things. That's when I lost sight of my dear Donald expensive sweetie. Lotta, what did you capture with that expensive camera of yours? I don't rightly know. I snapped a shot at anything that caught my eye. So I don't remember. And besides, I couldn't get anything from my big scoop. I wonder if Lotta's missing camera is even connected to the murder. Well, we'll put it in there anyway. Lotta, please tell me what you know about what happened at the time of the murder. Well, from before the ceremony last night, I was hanging around here in this area. Yeah, actually, I was here until around the time Mr. Ungar was arrested. What were you doing here? You sure you went to school, city boy? Wherever a lot of heart goes, there's a sword to be found. A big scoop to be had. A big scoop? I told you before, I'm gonna be the best tabloid photographer the world's ever seen. Reckon, of course, that means I'm always looking for the perfect shot. I wonder what scoop she was after this time. Although, I was also on the lookout for the other stars that were here. So, maybe I wasn't here the entire time. Lotta, are you sure you weren't here the entire time? So you could take a picture for your big scoop? Well, maybe I was. But that's what real journalists do. I got some juicy inside info, so I thought to myself, why not get a picture for proof? What kind of story was it that you would hang around here? So, Waruto again? Yeah, I expect to see a lot of that. Oops, sorry, Mr. Lawyer, can't be telling you that. Trade secret, you know? Not again. Why does everyone have something to hide? We've been stopped, haven't we? <laughs> oh, yeah, take that, Mr. Lawyer. I'm glad someone around here is happy. Miss Lotta and your I rule smile. Jeez. All right, now we're gonna move into a completely new area. Uh, where are we? We're in Mr. Matt Ongard's dressing room. This is our client's room. May I help you with something? Um, uh, we're... You're Mr. Ongard's lawyer, correct? I gathered as much. I also look for lawyers on my end, but to no avail. Um, how did you know I'm his lawyer? You were just saying that he is your client. In a situation like this, the only person who would use such a word would be his lawyer. Wow. It's simple deduction, really. The trial is tomorrow, and Mr. Ungard's situation is looking rather grim. So you came here, one stop in your mad dash, to find clues to build this case, correct? Well, you're not totally right, but you're not totally off either. It's really not the time to be showing off, Mr. Nick! I am Adrian Andrews. I hate to waste time, so let's get down to business. Alright. She may be of small stature, but appearances can be deceiving. I assume the first thing you need to know is what everyone was doing that night, correct? Y yes that is correct. Then I will tell you. Before the awards ceremony, I had dinner with Mr. Ungard. In this very room, I might add. Dinner? What did you eat? I told you, I hate to waste time with trifling details. If you took a look at the table yourself, you wouldn't need to ask me. I bet she's a lot of fun at parties. When the awards show was starting, I headed for Viola Hall. And after the show ended, you came back to this room? 
No, I have some small errands to run. I helped with the preparations in the lobby. Oh, preparations for the post-ceremony show, I guess. When it was time for the post-ceremony show, I came back to call for Mr. Ongard. After that, I went to visit Mr. Corrida. And that's when you found his body, isn't it? You really held strong through everything. Yeah, she does seem to be mentally tough as nails. Um, so about you and... Stop right there. Don't expect me to believe you have been talking to me without knowing how we relate. S sorry. I have no idea why Mr. Ungard chose you as his lawyer. Why did she have to go and say something like that? Mr. Nick, calm down and hang in there. I'll give you a shoulder rub to relieve your stress later, alright? I already gave you my name earlier, but I'll add that I'm Mr. Ungard's manager. His manager? Speaking of managers, did the victim, Mr. Corda, have one? No, he did not. He didn't? Global Studios has a very different policy from Worldwide Studios, in that Worldwide Studios does not assign individual managers to their stars. I see. This industry is very ruthless and unforgiving. Actually, you look quite ruthless and unforgiving yourself to your poor partner. Dragging a little girl like her to places like this? Honestly. You're wrong! I, I'm doing this to help Mystic Maya! Pearls, calm down and hang in there. I'll buy you a juice later, alright? Present. Alright, we want to present this. Did you know the victim, Mr. Corda? Yes, I knew him. The world is such a small place, after all. Do you know about his rivalry with the Nickel Samurai? Honestly, they were like children when it came to that. Time and time again, those two competed with each other over the most uninteresting things. If either one of them weren't so stubborn, then maybe no one would have needed to die. I've got a hunch that this woman knows more than she's letting on. She must know why Juan Corda was killed. Do you have any ideas? As to? As to why Mr. Corda was murdered. Why would you ask me about such a thing? I'm just doing my job. So, do you have any ideas? Again? Fuck, man! M Miss Andrews? Sorry, but there's nothing more I have to add to this conversation. Is it a cyclone, Mr. Nick? Yes, they're getting to be more and more of these lately. But, heh, nothing we can really do about it. So let's move to... The next new location. Corridor's hotel room. Mr. Nick, where are we? We're in Mr. Juan Corda's room, Pearls. Mr. Corda? The victim. Which makes this the crime scene, too. Oh, it's you! So, what's happened? The kidnapper hasn't contacted you again! Not yet. He probably won't until we win Mr. Ungard's acquittal. Um, you doing okay, pal? Hanging in there? I just want Maya to be alright. We don't have a lot of time left, but I'm gonna help you as much as I can, pal! Can you do that? Even if we want to look around the crime scene? Just this once! Special circumstances, right, pal? I'll even tell you everything I know, but you gotta keep quiet. It's my neck on the line here! Thank you. Oh, that's right! I got you guys a map of the hotel, pal. Here you go, little missy. Hi, oh, you're giving it to me? Thank you. <laughs> Wouldn't want you to get lost in a hotel too big for its own good. Mr. Nick, I got a map. That's great, Pearls. Um, but Mr. Nick, I can't read what it says. Ah, well. Do you know what was the cause of death? Well, technically, the final autopsy report isn't out yet, but... One look at the scene of the crime should tell you, pal. The scene of the crime? Yeah, here's a picture!
There's a knife in his chest. Yeah, pal! That's the murder weapon! So he was stabbed to death. Get look at it, the fingerprints down at the lab right now. There were fingerprints on the knife? Yup! And it looks like they're pretty sure they're Mr. On God's prints, pal! That's bad, real bad. Why was Mr. On Guard arrested? Because we had evidence on him! Evidence? It looks like the victim won Korra to really put up a big fight! Yeah, one look at the crime scene and you can tell. There's signs of a struggle everywhere. Well, yeah! During the fight, his button came off. Mr. On Guard said something about a button. Something like one of the Jammin' Ninja's buttons got caught in his Hakama. But that's not all! What? There was a witness, pal. A witness? Wh who is it? Dead lady, Miss Obag. Please, anyone but her. The prosecution has plenty of evidence to make a solid case. Not to mention there's something at the crime scene that was a little off. Something that was a little off, as in? As in, that's for you to figure out, pal! Alright, let's try to figure it out, Mr. Nick. Alright, I think I got a couple of ideas. First off, we have all this discarded crap here, but, uh, this wine glass, perfectly fine. It's a beautiful wine glass, and there's tomato juice in it. Ugh, tomato juice, I don't really like it that much. There's a bottle of it on the table over there. That's probably where this came from. But doesn't it seem weird? What seems weird? I mean, everything else is scattered all over the floor. She's right! The flower vase and was broken and the makeup is strewn everywhere. Why is this glass the only thing that's still alright? The plot thickens. This is a guitar case, I guess. A little beat up, but still usable. That's strange. The guitar is not here. Maybe he forgot to bring it to the show. Uh, Missy Maya, she said the bright red guitar was a jam and interesting to try him. That's true. Huh? This guitar case is wet, but it's only wet on the top of the lid. Yeah, there's no water inside the case. Uh, this is water, isn't it? Mm hmm. So we now gotta present these two items. So about this wine glass. Ah, so you noticed it, pal! The whole crime scene was a mess, but this glass was the only thing that was untouched. You noticed that too, Detective Gumshoe? No, actually, Miss Von Kama noticed it first. Yeah, Pearl's noticed it before me, too. Hey, wait a minute. So, does that mean Miss Von Karma's coming here? Yeah, she's coming. Man, you're gonna be in so much trouble, pal. I think it'd be best if you didn't bump into her here. You can bet the instant I see her, I'll be running the thousand meter dash. Uh-oh. Not this again. Uh, what's that beeping noise, Mr. Nick? Hmm, I've heard this sound somewhere before. It's Miss Von Karma! Huh? Whenever I hear that sound, for some reason she pops up out of nowhere and whips me! Come to think of it, that didn't happen the last time. S sorry, I gotta make myself scarce! Later, pal! Uh-oh. At last, you reveal your true nature, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Would it be too much to ask for you to be nice to me for a change? So here's the type to steal information from pitifully hopeless detectives. That's very dishonorable of you. Hey, don't you dare run away, scruffy McTrenchcoat. Ah! I didn't think the detectives of this country would be this pitiful. Detective, come over here for a second. Jesus. I feel better knowing at least you've a man enough to face your punishment. He was so scared he just froze up on the spot. Mr. Phoenix Wright, you, you have soiled my perfect prosecution record. I'll never forget that. 
This time, victory is mine! Victory is yours? Is that all this means to you? What? <laughs> Come, Scruffface. The investigation briefing is about to begin. Yes, sir! This isn't over yet. I swear on my family's honor. Ow, what did she throw at me? What is this? Well, I guess this means I gotta get back to the precinct now, pal. If you ever need me, come down to the Criminal Affairs Department, alright? And if you can, try not to let Miss Von Kama see you. So, something was added to the uh, table here. Let's let's check it out. Mr. Ning, why is this piece of paper? It's called an autograph. Autograph? It's got Mr. Corda's name written on it, so it's his autograph. I can't read it at all. To be honest, I've never seen writing that looks like this. It's, ah, it's a special way of writing called cursive. Look here, see how it says, To my dearest Wendy, in normal letters here? This sloppy, unreadable writing! It's crazy and cruel to give this to someone! Hold on. Wendy, I've heard that name somewhere before. 